welcome <laughs> to Purchase Link. We went dark last week, but we're glad to be back with you all tonight. I hope everyone spent our week off doing something that makes them happy. What'd you do with all this week off, Sarah? I turned 21! <laughs> you know what that means? I think we all know what that means. That's right! Clink, clink were the sounds of the barrel and ammunition, which I acquired after finally being able to obtain a concealed weapons permit. I'm legal now, baby! <laughs> That's not where I thought clink, clink was going, but, you know, I was talking about more you know. What? Being four years away from being able to serve in the House of Representatives? Don't remind me. <laughs> She was my little gift, gift from, from the, the dark, dark lord. lord. I know. God, Mom, you say that all the time. So embarrassing. <laughs> oh, God. Remember when you started Annie as a little child and you couldn't dance and it was just so darn cute and you're just plopping Sarah, around. Miss Gunn, dare I say, Sue, yep. what do you mean when you said a gift from the dark lord? Oh, well, you, you know. You <laughs> a gift from the dark lord. You know, I, 
I fell in love with my precious sugar butt, Seton. <laughs> and you know, my precious little Sarah Gunn was born. You know, that reminds me of that one time that you had your first wiggly tooth out, and then you know you pulled it out, but somehow you managed to pull out another girl's tooth out, and then she died, and blood <laughs> everywhere. You know, that a god, Nurse Nancy just had so much to clean up. That was just so much, you know. Oh. God, that was crazy. It was so backed up. Mom, I'm so embarrassing. No, no, I'm still on this. You're telling me you had sex with Satan? God, Miles, stop talking about my mom having sex with my dad. So gross. Oh, come on. Oh, was... Mom, gross. It was a funny story, Sarah. You are a damn adult now, okay? Your dad is a wonderfully sensual man, okay? He bought me Denny's after, and I knew I was pregnant with my little Sarah Gunn. <laughs> oh my gosh, God, and Halloween when you were eight, it was just so darn cute, you know? You tried to bob for apples, and then you died, and then somehow that girl who got her tooth pulled also died again, you know? God, I know it's just so frickin' difficult Sarah, to get you to die. Oh, way to interrupt my mom, Miles. Oh, so many times I go to my dad's every weekend. I think I'm supposed to go in a couple weeks. No, honey, it's this week. You know, I... Don't you forget, your dad will be really upset. Uh, no, Mom. I think I would know. Uh, actually, there's Sarah. You know, your father and I just emailed. It's this week. Hey, you two guys. <laughs> Jerry! Father! Hello, my little sexy muffin fuck. Oh, my God, dude. Hello, my little chipmunk butt. God, Dad, my name is so friggin' embarrassing. What the fuck? <laughs> Language, kiddo. What? Uh, you're Satan. Um, well, that doesn't mean I don't run a tight ship. In hell, we have manners. <laughs> now, my little chipmunk butt, do you not want to go with your old Pop Pop this weekend? Dad, you know I do. I just can't find the time to find a place to die. Oh, who oh, will bear? Your mom, <laughs> don't you worry. Your mom and I will find a great place mm -hmm. to kill you in. Now, sugar fuck, is this weekend good for you to drive to the hell mm -hmm. gate? Oh my gosh, Jerry, you're just too sexy for me. <laughs> I love you, my little sweet butt, so much. All right, Sarah, me and your dad, we're gonna go find you a kill spot, okay? You know, just send me an email when you wrap this up with your little friends, and you know, just let me know. Okay, bye, Miles. Goodbye, bye, Sarah. Bye, oh, gosh, Mom, it's called texting, not emailing. You're such a silly goose. Oh, gosh, Derek. Uh, let's give it up for Sarah's mom, everybody. <laughs> All right, um, we're here with um, members of Cinema Sewer. The creators. The creators of Cinema Sewer. Actually, that's not totally true. This club's been going around for about uh, two years now. Mm. Uh, the original runners of Cinema Sewer graduated, and we took over. Do you guys want to like introduce your names and then your positions within the club? Sure. Uh, my name's Jeremy, and this is Jake, and right. we both co-run Cinema Sewer, an underground uh, cinema club here in Purchase, where we like to show uh, old cult, old and new uh, cults, um, Bad movies. Yeah, just general, like, <laughs> trashy movies of all kinds. Yeah. <laughs> Hence the sewer and cinema sewer. Yeah. Definitely. So by yeah. underground, where does this... Is it in the sewer? Where yeah. Is it? No, it <laughs> takes place in social sciences. Yeah. We're unofficial, so... Oh. It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Not a very good... PSGA thing, show, we're mandated reporters, so... Support <laughs> <laughs> you. Uh-oh. Oh. So, um, you meet every Tuesday? Every, every Tuesday night at 7, 7 p.m. Right. What, so, what was the last movie watched? Last week we watched Alien Prey, a British sci-fi horror film made by a former porn director from the 70s. Sounds educated. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, um, So what's like the environment of the club like? Do you kind of openly mock the movie while it's happening? Definitely. Or do you talk about it afterwards? Throw spoons. Throw spoons! That's only reserved for one particular movie. The Room? Yeah, uh -huh. of course. I know. <laughs> but yeah, we like to show movies from all over the world. We don't like to show just like any old like general trash. We like to uh, show stuff that we find... We like to, to show interesting trash. A little more mm. obscure trash too. Yeah. <laughs> we like to uh, show movies that have like interesting stories behind them. Like, for example, uh, our first, one of the first movies we showed was uh, from this little village in uh, Uganda. Uh, it's called Who Killed Captain Alex? Has anyone here ever heard of it? Oh, yes. Yeah. I have heard of this director. This is like a director who's put on a lot of different movies, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. he's good. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, you guys should really check this out. It's <laughs> it's for free on YouTube if you miss the screening. Yeah. Which, you know. Um, so, I guess, 
we were wondering what your top movies at the bottom of the sewer would be. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, what are your most favorite worst movies? I mean, you can't go wrong with Ed Wood's Plan 9 from Outer Space. Can't that's, you? <laughs> I don't know. I that's that's a classic. That's what got me so fascinated with bad cinema because of the whole story behind the director, Ed Wood, and, you know, I also love Roar. Roar Sorry. is this movie from the Roar? 19... Roar? Roar? Like yeah. a lion roar. With an exclamation point. <laughs> this this was a movie where this uh, insane man who owned a uh, African animal ranch directed a movie featuring 150 uh, real lions, tigers, panthers, all kinds of wild elephants cats, too. elephants as well, and they all lived, right? They all lived. No <laughs> animals were harmed, but people were. Over a hundred members of the cast and crew were harmed in the making of this film. <laughs> Why do they see, have that many members on the cast and crew? Yeah, and you see it. You see all of it on camera. They, they, uh, <laughs> they, they show all of it. And that, that was a fun screen. And that film took 11 years to make. Because they shut down the production every time everyone, someone got injured, which was a lot. <laughs> So 120 times in. <laughs> about that, yeah. Yeah. Heard a similar stat about Joker 2019. Anyway. Uh, well, you know. Well, could we, could we hear one more time where this takes place? Specific, the specific room? Um, social Sciences Room uh, 1001, 7 o'clock on Tuesdays. Okay. Nice big projection, nice sound. Nice big projection, unofficial club. Mm -hmm. But popcorn? Yeah. No. <laughs> that was a good idea, right? Yeah. Okay. Bring your own. <laughs> well, not? thank you very much for coming on. One more thing I'd like to say. Uh, we partnered up with the official Cinema Studies um, Fall 2019 screenings, and October 30th, we will actually not be in Social Sciences. We will be in the brand spanking new screening room in the new film building. And October 30th, we're having a special Halloween screening of Peter Jackson's Dead Alive. This was uh, long before he got famous for making uh, Tolkien movies. Uh, in his home country, New Zealand, he made a lot of what they call splatter films, which is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this particular one, Dead Alive, um, I don't know if it still has this record, mm -hmm. but for the longest time it had the record for most amount of practical blood used on set. So if you come to this screening, uh, if you're of the faint of stomach, I recommend bringing a, a bag of some sort. That's not like fun. <laughs> so go see All that. Right. It's just a lot of fun. We're, We're not cool. We won't have yeah. to <laughs> You can go, go splatter at Simazur. All right. We'll be right back. Splatter away. <laughs>
Check it out, it's a cool cup. <laughs> Aha! I am Richard, the wizard, and you are? I'm Pat. Ha! By that cup in your hands, might I assume that you are the one who wielded my magic cup and transported me to your realm? Wait, what? I'm a wizard, and I came from that cup. It transported me here, and for doing so, I will grant you three wishes. Oh, so you're like a genie. No, I'm not a genie. I came from a cup, and therefore, I'm a wizard. So did you come from Cup World? <laughs> no, I didn't come from Cup World. Genies come from lamps, and you never asked them if they came from Lamp World. It's a cup, I'm a wizard. Cup wizard, do you want your three wishes or no? I do. For my first wish, I wish I had some cooked cup ramen. Done! <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you have a fork? No, but you have two wishes. Well then, I guess that means I wish I had a fork. Done! <laughs> a fork! Thank you. Say, that's a nice cup you got there. What is your obsession with cups? Oh, you know, it's just a thing I do, a thing I like, a thing I like, cups. I go to every realm and I collect one cup, you know, no harm, no foul. One more cup for the collection. Neato. Sounds like an innocent and harmless reason to travel the universe. Oh yes, with every cup I collect, I get closer and closer to accomplishing my goal. What's your goal? To collect every cup in the universe? Precisely. <laughs> <laughs> and once I collect every cup, I'll be able to store I'll be able to store unlimited amounts of magic in the cups, making me the most powerful wizard in the universe. But if we don't have cups, what are we gonna drink stuff with? Oh, you can use bowls for all I care. No, no I, I can't let you get away with this. You're too evil. <laughs> Those cups belong to people. Oh, what are you going to do about it, mortal? I still have one wish, and I wish you would leave my realm. Oh, my weakness! I'll be back for my revenge! <laughs> There, there's more than one of these, I just want to say. <laughs> well, I just saved the whole world from certain demise. <laughs> I guess that's good for me, but I, I better get some sleep. I have an 8.30 class tomorrow, and I, I don't want to sleep in, but uh, thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank 
going to be real honest. I did not prepare a damn thing for tonight, but we're going to figure it out. <laughs> it's it's a little hard having white friends sometimes, because like you try to have like a 2000s, 90s R&B and hip hop party, and your white friends pull out with white claw. <laughs> You just like drink some Hennessy and lemonade like an adult. <laughs> I'm the president of Comedy Club here. Yeah. We have some funny members, you know. Some people are like, yeah, you can do this professionally, you know. It's a few, you know. My boy Donnie back there. You know, my, my, my guy Aiden was on the show. Kevin, I guess. <laughs> You have, some, you have some people who are just like, you're not funny now, but you'll grow into it. <laughs> then you have some people that are just like, then you have some people where it's like, I feel like you're only doing comedy to convince people you have sex. <laughs> it's like, every joke is about sex? <laughs> Like every joke. <laughs> you don't got no other problems in your life. Like, you don't find nothing else. Why is sex always funny to you? Feel, I feel like you're not doing it right. If it's always funny, then you're just not fucking right. <laughs> I find daddy issues funny. Yeah. Not like, but like the idea of like the term. Cause like, that's like, why do we find a whimsical way to talk about trauma? You know? <laughs> Like, if I, if, I, if I introduce someone to you and I was like, they have savvy issues, you're gonna look at me like an asshole, not like, I don't know, that wasn't the best. <laughs> um, I have savvy issues. <laughs> Thanks. I'm, all, like, I'm always worried that like, my dad will show up one time, one day when I say like, any of my dad jokes, and then I'm like, that nigga ain't been here 22 years. Can't pull it up now. I don't know, what do you guys want to talk about? Nothing? Okay. <laughs> um, how, how are you, Rich? Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm doing really good. Okay, you didn't react fast enough. Um, <laughs> how are you going, Kate? I'm alright. Where, where, where? Alright, no material, no material. Um, I'm excited for class. Class? Oh, I'm Kate's TA for Playwriting 1. Do the 
What? <laughs> Your Tropic Thunder bit. Tropic Thunder? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna leave on that joke. <laughs> so I was in Theater Space 2. It was the beginning of class, and we were talking about blackface. And, um, you know, we talked about white people are terrible. Uh, so class is over, me and a black guy. They don't go anywhere, so I'll say the name. His name is Devin. Um, we're leaving class, and he looks at me, and he says, the first thing he says to me after this class about blackface, not to be Uncle Tom or anything. <laughs> All right, you think he was going somewhere wild. <laughs> He was like, not to be on the time or anything, but Tropic Thunder is the only acceptable blackface. And I was like, dude, dude, I agree. That nigga Robert Downey Jr.? Different. All right. Um, yeah, I think I'm done ranting now. So, have a good night. <laughs>